This is a short update on a video I did a couple of weeks ago on the ancient languages of the Italian peninsula. So those before the Roman occupation and the eventual dominance of Latin and ultimately the development of modern standard Italian. One of the languages I mentioned was the mysterious Etruscan, which we still don't fully understand and lamenting the lack of inscriptions and context to help interpret it. As luck would have it, ongoing excavations in the hilltop village of San Casciano dei Bagni in Tuscany, led by the University for Foreigners in Siena, have given us an insight into the later Etruscans of the 5th century CE. The site was a sanctuary or healing pool, frequented in some form by the deities, which was originally Etruscan but expanded in Roman times, and made use of the thermal springs that visitors still come to the area to enjoy in various spas and which Mrs. Lamia Italy is keen to investigate further. Much attention has been focused in November 2023 on the finding of a two-metre statue of Apollo, about which more in a moment. But what caught my attention was the finding of a travertine marble altar with a bilingual inscription in both Etruscan and Latin, which, given the site was in use from early Etruscan times until the 5th century, supports the case that Etruscan and Latin languages and cultures coexisted in ordinary use for longer than previously thought. Frustratingly, it doesn't appear to have been reported yet what the inscription actually said. I like the idea, which I can't prove, that the different Italian peoples who were conquered by the Romans retained their identities and languages, and that this is one of the many factors which have helped make Italy so diverse and interesting and, dare we say it, Italian. And yes, of course, most of the regional and linguistic differences are undoubtedly due to the fragmented nature of more modern Italian history, with different parts of Italy being ruled by many various foreign powers until unification in the 1860s. As for the statue of Apollo, it follows the finding in 2022 of 24 bronze statues and offerings buried in the mud and hot waters for around 1700 years. Inscriptions on the objects tell us they were intended to heal illnesses, pains and even particular parts of the body as represented in the offerings. The statue of the so-called scrawny boy is particularly poignant. When it emerged, covered in hot mud, the archaeologists thought it was a statue of an athlete, but in fact it appears to be of a sick boy, probably offered to the deities in the hope of a cure. It appears the sanctuary was closed around the 5th century, presumably as a result of Christianity replacing the old pagan ways. It's worth noting though that some of those closing the sanctuary may have done so reluctantly as the statue of Apollo was dismantled but then hidden deliberately behind a column, a secret icon perhaps watching from the sealed up temple. The bronze statues from last year have been on display in the Quirinal Palace in Rome but will be returned to San Cosciano where they were found to take pride of place in a new museum at some point, who knows when, in the future. It was long suspected that San Casciano contained significant ancient ruins and there's probably much more to be found as the excavation site expands over the next few years. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short update video on the Etruscan language. If you'd like to see more videos on all things Italian, please feel free to like and subscribe and there will be another video along soon.